Hi there, today I'm looking at ChatGBT uh, and I'm going to show you how you can use this for Hindi. So on here you can ask ChatGPT lots of different questions. So there's a way of learning language and it's called island learning. So basically you take a topic that you're interested in and you try and learn to say as much about that topic as you can. So it could be a film, it could be um, something you're interested in, it could be about nitrogen, nitrogen in the soil, about how that's used, its benefits, how it can harm the environment, how it's used by farmers, um, all kinds of things. So we're going to make an island now. We do it in Hindi and Urdu. So this is a TV show from Japan called Fist of the North Star. And then we just wait. So as you can see, it's doing a really good job here. I mean, this is like taking seconds as well. And it's quite a lot quite a lot of information it's giving us. So I'll just read a bit in English. So Fist of the North Star is a popular Japanese manga and anime created by Buronsan, pen name of Yoshiyuki Okamara and illustrated by Tetsuhara. The series is known as Hokuto no Ken in Japanese which translates to Fist of the Big Dipper. It was first serialized in 1983 and later adapted into an anime series that aired from 1984 to 1988. So this is my topic here. So we've got Fist of the North Star in Devanagari, Ek popular Japani manga or anime series here. GC Boronsan, and it talks about his uh, pen name. So we've got the same information here in English and in Japanese. So with this, there's also useful sentences I can use here as well, because you will find that lots of people, they do have pen names as well as their real name. So you'll often find with film producers that have a pen name and a real name. They might be the script writer. With comedy books, you've got illustrators. So there's probably lots of sentences in here that we can use in our target languages. So this is a sentence that is used a lot in, uh, could be used for Westerns as well. So the hero of the story says, he battles against tyrants and warlords who oppress the weak and innocent. So this is something that we see again and again. It's a trope in films we see again and again. So. By learning that sentence in Hindi, I can talk about other films. I could be talking about Shole, and I could be talking about Gabba Singh and how Gabba Singh, um, or sorry, Domendra and um, Viru, I think it is, or, or Jai, I can't remember. It's, it's Domendra and Amita Bachchan, and they're fighting against Gabba Singh. So they're fighting against a warlord who's oppressing the weak and innocent, and that warlord is called Gabba Singh. So whereas this series is known for its own intense and over-the-top martial arts battle. Shole is known for its dance numbers and action. And this film has an iconic catchphrase. So Kenshiro says, you're already dead. Omae wa mo shinderu in Japanese, you're already dead. So in, in Shole, you've got uh, Gabba's famous line, um, uh, holy cub hair, cub holy hair. Like when is holy, uh, or kitni admite? How many men are there? So this is a way of how you can use ChatGPT to go to your target subject you want to talk about, get it in your language, the target language, and you can also make sentences that relate to other subjects as well. Give it a go and let me know what you think.